a person without the Prophet cannot understand the message of Allah, the Quran. Quran and the message of Allah finds reality in the existence of the Prophet. Every Prophet and messenger that came to a people in the past has taken an oath from his people to have faith and belief in the last messenger, which is Prophet Muhammad. If a man seeks perfection, if man seeks sanctity, if man seeks uh, to go closer to his creator, then the means tour of that is Prophet Muhammad. It is because of this role of him being the glue that brings and makes this ummah stay together and this nation stay together. Because of this, you see that his daughter Fatima was buried at night so that his sanctity can be maintained. Imam Ali chose isolation for 25 years and refused to fight for his right that Allah has given him in order to maintain the sanctity of the Prophet. Anyone that Allah gives importance to, anything that Allah gives importance to becomes holy and sacred. God is holy. God is the source of holiness, of sanctity. And anything that is attached to God is also holy. It gets that light, that sanctity from Allah. Dua has its sanctity because Allah spoke to Musa there. Sanctity can only be through God, not away from God, not outside of God. You look at the Kaaba is holy, but a mu'min, a believer is holier than the Kaaba. When you compare the Kaaba and a mu'min, the mu'min has the higher sanctity. And now when you look at all mu'mineen, they're on one side and Amir al-Mu'mineen is above all of that. That Amir al-Mu'mineen, he's saying that, that ana abdun min abida Muhammad. I am a slave of Muhammad. If you reject the Prophet, that's between you and Allah and Allah will deal with you. But if a person ridicules the Prophet, then there's actual punishment for it. It is a crime. It is a crime. You just can't disrespect the Prophet because he is the nucleus of God's system. Bismillah.